And now we'll take this Fent 930 for a quick little spin. This is a 300 horsepower nine series Fent tractor with three point hitch arms, all the nine yards. So the first thing I notice when I get in this cab, since it is a brand new tractor, is it is it smells so good. It smells like a high-end sports car. The leather-wrapped steering wheel. These leather seats with swivel as well. That headrest. So we're gonna press to load the settings. And that fan is really loud because it is so hot here in Swift Current today. So that that fan is just quite, quite noisy. But we have the automatic parking brake on this tractor as well. So we just turn off our foot pedal mode, click our joystick, that parking brake comes off and we're driving. Someone had it in the low range, so I'm gonna flip it up so we speed up a little faster. So this tractor feels a lot like that Fent 1050. It looks a lot like that Fent 1050 in the cab, except your biggest difference that I notice is how narrow your hood is. Your hood's a lot more narrow than that big 1050 over there. But otherwise, it is a very, very similar to that 1050. This one's loaded right up. We got the cooler inside. We got the windshield wiper on the sides and all the electric fold mirrors. That automatic seat keeps adjusting up and down sensing my weight and making it as comfortable as it can for me. Then when I come for a stop with that automatic parking brake, I stand up, parking brake goes off, and we can go outside. But now, let's take a little bit of a look just around this tractor. This is a 724 S4 series, so it does not have the new Fent 1 cab in it. But if we jump inside here, we can see it looks just like the cab in those other two tractors. Put on the clutch. Put off the clutch. I can see someone adjusted the height of this armrest quite a bit. But that don't matter to me. Take the parking brake off. We're going to click this puppy into gear. Someone had the back window open. Close that right up. And then we have that smooth Fent front end loader with that with that front window curling up and around the front of it. If we had a bucket on there, we could easily see right to our bucket. 
we can lower it down and these things are just so so smooth someone else just pulled up and jumped into that 1167 so I'm gonna quickly turn this puppy around and park it and hopefully get a bit of a video of them driving it Man, that thing is so quiet when it's running. But now we're gonna quickly jump into this Massey Ferguson 6713. And we're gonna take this little thing for a spin. So as I talked about in the last video, the cab of this Massey is super nice. You have a big front Vizio Pro roof where you can easily see your bucket all the way up. We're gonna put our foot on the clutch, make sure nothing's in gear, and we're going to fire this thing up. So now, to get this thing functioning, we're gonna push that down. Lower our steering wheel, make it look all nice. We're gonna take our parking brake off. And now we're going to put our range selector, our high or our low. We'll go into high, so forward. Then our gear shift, put into first gear first. We'll lift up our bucket. nice and smooth with these hydraulics flip our shuttle shift into forward foot off the clutch and we're moving give it a little bit of throttle speed this thing up and instead of using the foot to shift like that what we actually can do with this Massey is on the front there's that little button and that little button right there actually works as your clutch. So when I'm driving here, I don't put my foot on that clutch, put my finger on there, clutch it into the next gear, and we're moving. I don't have to worry about touching that clutch. That's a super nice feature with this Massey being a manual transmission or a standard transmission. I don't have to worry about actually pushing my foot on the clutch I just sit here nice and easily and just shift while depressing that little hand clutch. Everything works really, really well. Nice smooth tractor, smooth ride. And we are going pretty fast, so I should slow down a little bit. Then if I do want to come to a stop, all I have to do is depress the clutch. I can lower my RPMs right there. Heck, we're gonna take it out of gear and just sit. Now with this bucket, if I lift this bucket all the way up, we can see nice and easily, we can see that bucket. We can tilt it, dump whatever we want to dump. Say we have gravel in there. Don't know why you'd go that high, but super handy. Nice self-leveling bucket. Nice, accurate, easy hydraulics. And then we go put it into gear. Say we're in second gear, foot off the clutch, and we're cruising bump it up a little bit of RPMs, or we can step on that manual RPM adjust. Clutch, moving, clutch, and we're moving. Nice and easy. 
not even having to use our left foot, which is super, super handy. If we swing this thing around and go back to park it, we put our foot on the clutch, using the brake, we come to a stop, flip it in reverse, foot off the clutch, and we're moving backwards. Easily see the drawbar and the pin. Good visibility out this back window. Get lined up into our spot, foot on the clutch. We can grab our parking brake. It was screaming at me because I was still in forward. Take it out of gear. I usually take that one out of gear as well. And just like that. We're gonna lower our bucket down a little bit. And that's pretty much it. We have two more Masseys beside, but this video is getting a little long and this Massey is the exact same as those ones. So I figured I'm going to call it here. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. And we'll see you in the next video. We might go take a look at that Fent Row Gator or we might take another closer look at the Massey. <laughs> we got lots of time for lots more videos. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.